If you've been paying close attention to the CompTIA website, you'll notice there are some new things on their certification exams. No longer do you get simply multiple choice questions on the exam. Now CompTIA has rolled out something called performance-based questions on the exam, and it's going to change how you think about studying for your certifications. Probably one of the biggest complaints about the CompTIA exams is that it's always multiple choice. It's so easy to get through a multiple choice exam. So now CompTIA has changed that. Now they make it a little bit more difficult to answer some of this information. It's not going to be something you can easily memorize and simply step through the exam. These performance-based questions may be things like giving you a command prompt, and you have to type in the proper command at the command line to be able to complete what's actually asked of you in the question. Maybe there is a list of items that you have to match with each other. There are a lot of different opportunities here that CompTIA has available to ask you these performance-based questions. So I highly recommend that you watch their video that steps through a lot of different examples about these performance-based questions. This video also takes you through the exam experience so that if you're sitting down for the very first time and taking a CompTIA exam, you'll understand exactly what will be presented to you on the screen. I really recommend that you watch this video. I've created a shortcut for you at bit.ly. You can go to bit.ly slash exam dash test to be able to watch that video. Because of these performance-based questions, there's going to be a lot more opportunities to ask you to actually perform a function at the command line. So a lot of lab work, a lot of hands-on work is really going to help you when it comes time to taking this exam. Make sure you take every opportunity to go to the command line and perform some of these functions, or go into Windows and perform some of the functions that may require there in the control panel or in the event log. You're going to want to try all of these possible pieces. Simply looking at a video or reading through a book isn't going to help you as much as going through and doing all of these performance-based tasks yourself.